<clears throat> got it going now. Awesome. This is, um, I mean, obviously the headline's Marshall Plan. Um, how do you want to set up? We have SOC govs. Normally in these sort of situations, <clears throat> I like to put three in Italy and three in Iran when we have Marshall and SOC govs in hand. Yeah, that sounds good. This, uh, this the only other consideration though we don't really have a playable three op card um, <clears throat> which I'll, could get us in trouble I like this okay give it a second I don't want an instant headline marshal but I mean it's pretty obvious with this setup what we're doing Oh, I don't know. It's not the usual Marshall Plan setup. They might not. I mean, I got. I mean, even well, if they know what we're headlining, they can't really do anything about it anyway. Yeah. So, Kevin, we gotta we gotta figure out how we're dealing with all this crap in our hand. Like Cambridge Five for Motion are playable. <clears throat> um, I think we want D Style to be the hold and D Call to be the space. So that means we gotta give up Sock Govs, Vietnam, and Suez, which is really not pretty. Yeah, just play v Vietnam on AR6. <clears throat> and do we even have the ops to get to Thailand? Like, I'm thinking something weird, like event and coup Vietnam early in the turn. Because I feel like we don't have the ops to take Thailand here. Yeah, we, we do. Just go Malaysia, AR1 probably, and then, and then straight into Thailand. Okay. Well, I guess it depends on what happens. I mean, they might, like, we'll just have to kind of adjust based on what happens. Hey, can you put that Vietnam to the right of the decal? Thanks. <clears throat> Suez and Socialist are basically going to be empty action rounds. Um, I yeah. guess um, we would like to have the Israel adjacency before Suez goes off. How many ops do we have here? I guess we have um, four playable ops by my count. Well, six if you include Vietnam. Oh, Nasser. <clears throat> I guess we got to use some ops to get mill ops too. Yeah. So does this looks look good to you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess we don't have to get Israel adjacency before we let Suez go off. We could just, just um, say fuck it. Yeah, let's let's see what happens here. I mean, I I don't know what they're gonna do because I hate cooing three uh, <clears throat> two stability countries of three influence. Um, so I I don't know what they're gonna do here. I mean, Nasser to me feels like a very bad headline when you know your opponent's not headlining Middle East, you know? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh shit, what's going on? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> They're thinking about this pretty hard. Yeah, it's kind of unusual that we have to fill up France and then let the Suez crisis go off, but there's really no other way to play that because we kind of have to headline the Marshall Plan. Yeah, this hand. There's really uh, no other option. Really <laughs> Kevin, I just gotta say, I'm so happy they didn't headline Purge. Purge would absolutely end us with this hand. Oh, yeah, we'd probably lose Thailand if we got purged. Could just hold the decal and space the D stall if we had gotten purged, I suppose. It wouldn't have yeah, I so mean, it would have been bad. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Um, I guess they have Middle East scoring. Yeah, I, uh, kind of want to go two pack. Yeah, I like I don't wanna, it. 
I don't want to just give up Pakistan. So two pack with promotion. Yeah, I like it. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Or wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, it's it's okay. That's, 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 that's <laughs> it's too late. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> it's all right. I kind of wanted to put one in Malaysia too, but I guess we really. I mean. <laughs> if we if we put one in Malaysia, I, I guess it probably would have been better to let Suez Crisis go off and go to Pakistan, one yeah. Malaysia. But I mean that kind of is risky too because then we lose our Europe domination and they might be able to play Europe scoring if they have it. But I sort of doubt that they have it. But you never know. Yeah. I mean, I guess they could have it. I mean, they get they're just like focusing on Middle East first, and then there's no rush for them to dump the Europe scoring. If they have it, <clears throat> I think no matter what, Kevin, uh, I think we got to space the decal on the next action round. I guess we'll kind of no, see. Want it. Malaysia's a five. Malaysia's a pretty high priority too. Also, if they coup Pakistan, they might have to change our plans. Because we want to get mill ops too. We got to worry about getting mill ops. If we get the chance to coup Pakistan, that'd be pretty huge. Or I guess they have no way to get to Vietnam because we have every single card that gets there, so we really don't have to rush on Malaysia. I see. I see. They only have three cards that can possibly get over there, and we have all three of them. Right? Yeah, we're forced to give up the Vietnam revolts. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm still kind of. I mean, I guess now that we've given up for Mojin, I'm really against the concept of. Okay, okay, that's good. So now, um, do you want to go one pack, one India, or just space to decal now? I kind of, I kind of want to leave Cambridge five in reserve, so I kind of want to space now. I like space. Yeah. Okay. So space decal. I like it. All right. That's good. Yeah, that was a good time to hit a roll. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat is sore. I have a bunch of water though. The more I drink this water, the more my throat's gonna feel better. <clears throat> I think there's something going around. My roommate's pretty sick also. <coughs> no, I'm not sick. I was just smoking a bunch of weed earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we got to worry about mill ops and Thailand. Yeah. I yeah. think we got to give up sock govs in the next action round. <laughs> you know, if it goes all the way down to AR6 and the... DEFCON is still at 4 or 5 we could event Vietnam and then coup it. I kind of like that better to do it at the very end instead of giving them a chance to recoup because yeah. they get the bonus um, and we don't but they can't use it if we do it at the end <coughs> you know, we have so much red Kevin like I have to wonder what their hand looks like like yeah. maybe their hand has some crap in it you know yeah definitely I mean, they didn't just go outright for the for the Pakistan coup. That also kind of indicates to me that they got some weak stuff in their hand. Yeah, they, they could beat out a nuclear test ban. So they could have multi another scorecard in their hand, maybe. I feel like if it was Asia, they'd be more aggressive on the coup. I feel like this smells like they have Europe scoring. We got a big time advantage already. If we could hold the D stall until turn three, that would be great. Yeah, you know, I think maybe we made a mistake. We should have gotten one pack, one India in the last action round. I don't think India is a very high priority. I, th I think it's huge. I mean, we get into India. And we get the extra one in pack, then Asia's locked down. It's never dominating against us. We sh I think we should be more focused on Thailand and just leave India with nothing in it. Thailand is a lot bigger deal. <coughs> Excuse me. In India, in terms of battlegrounds, India's worth as much as... It's all I mean, Thailand's worth more because of Southeast Asia, but it's also an Asian battleground, you know? And also, India can get flipped by the IP war... And uh, I guess Thailand can get flipped by the brush war, but you have more opportunity to get adjacency. I don't know. I mean, I think I think. I mean, if we had more ops, I would love to put one into India, but we're so op starved here. I think we just have to go one Malaysia, and then and also we have to get mill ops too. 
We just don't really have enough ops to go one India, I don't think. The mill ops is going to be a big deal here. We can't really wait until we can't like go all the way until AR6 with no mill ops. We got to coup something. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't realize Harry Wu lived in New Jersey. I thought he was on in New York. Um, but interesting. Yeah, I, I agree with everything that you said, Kevin. Um, and we can't play Cambridge 5 now also because that leaves us with no playable cards in our hand. It's not a situation I want to be in. I would um, prefer to event socialist governments on our next day, Art, but if they do something like coup Pakistan, we might have to change our plans. Yeah, we'll see. Cooing Pakistan would be a great way for us to get mill ops. Wow, they're less than 10 minutes on uh, three action rounds. <laughs> like, what are they doing? They must have a bad hand, I guess. Yeah, this hand must be, like, all-time bad. I have no idea what they're thinking so much about. <clears throat> Alright, well, since they're thinking for so long, I'm gonna go run downstairs now and get a little bit of food. You know, I really thought that by the time I got back, they would have made a move, <laughs> but I guess not. <laughs> Thank God they did not headline that. Okay. Interesting. Um, no way we're counter cooing that. <laughs> well, we got to get mill up somehow. I, I really do not want to play Cambridge 5 right now. Um... I mean, we can get Milops later in the turn. I think we got a... I like, I think... the, I like the Pakistan coup. Dude, that's so unlikely, man. Like, we got to roll a no. six to get one influence. Like, it does it, it does nothing but get us... With, um... the, with the Suez crisis. Oh, but that costs us the Europe, Dom. Yeah, but we're going to have to... No, I mean, we can just empty action around the, so the socialist governments right now. Actually, uh, yeah, we could event socialist governments. Yeah, that, okay, let's do that then. <clears throat> I'm cool with that. I think at this point, Asia there's, is going to be kind of unlikely because they rolled so well in the pack coup. There's really no rush for us to coup Pakistan anyway because if they put one in India, it's not really that big of a deal. Yeah, it, I'm just going to say, if we had a better hand, I would have 100% put one pack, one India on the last action round, but this hand has literally no playable ops in it. All right, so I'm kind of event so sock goes. Yeah, I like that. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. I guess it would be kind of weird for them to coup Iran on their next AR because... They already scored. Yeah, there's three in it and it's already scored, even though it gives them a chance to wipe out our adjacency over there, which is kind of a big deal. It still seems like it would be kind of weird. So we, we just repaired this, right? Yeah. Can you click on that one more time? They had both neutral oh, okay. forms. Uh, yeah, okay. I okay, Kevin, I, I think our theory about them having a bad hand was not accurate. <laughs> um, this is uh, unfortunate. They just have such a better hand than we do. I think we'll be all right uh, as long as we don't get burned on the mill ups.
Yeah, maybe we don't have enough to <clears throat> to make it to Thailand. I mean, what do we got here? One, two. We're going to have to replace two in France. Yeah, we don't, actually. We don't have enough to overprotect it. I don't even think we should bother getting adjacency to Israel with the Middle East already being scored and we have so few ops. We should probably just let the Israel op go, let the whole adjacency go over there. I would like to put one in Malaysia as soon as possible. How many ops do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But we got to put <clears throat> two, two, two back in France. Yeah, Suez isn't really... I, I, I agree with you, Kevin. We don't go into Lebanon or anything. I think we just give up the Suez. We can go one Malaysia. The Suez, um, we can just... Uh, well, man, yeah, this is this is tough. We gotta, gotta spend two to get mill ops. You know, I think I changed my opinion, Kevin. We got every bad red event in turn one like this hand is one of the most unplayable hands i've ever seen well denying them the d stall and the d call is really nice though i mean it's not nice for you know turn one but it's really nice for future turns yes yeah, that is tough i i guess um yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to lose our Israel adjacency and spend two, spend a two up to get mill ops. Oh, holy cow! <clears throat> Kevin, they needed to spend one op to get domination. <laughs> huh. Maybe they have all three scorecards. They have to. They have to. Wow. They needed one op to get domination. They didn't go for it. That is amazing. Um, so, so if they have that scorecard, Kevin, they have to play it. Let's just coup Vietnam with Vietnam Revolts. No, because... I don't. I want to play Vietnam at the end so they don't get their bonus. Okay, so then, so well, we give up you guys on this action round then? I mean, I guess we do have a one out of six chance to just clear Vietnam and there's no influence either way. That would be an awesome roll. Yeah, I'm worried that they coup Iran and we lose that ability. I don't know, doesn't, doesn't that seem kind of weird for them to coup Iran? Doesn't that seem kind of like a weird play? I mean, I guess they could. It does. But what else can they do? Like, what else is... Well, I guess, actually, that's a good question. Like, what can they do on this board? Like, what is their plan? Why would they not just fill Afghanistan and India? Like, what's what's their plan for this last two action rounds? <clears throat> I think I think we got to think about that, Kevin. Like, why would they not just put one in Afghanistan? I kind of I kind of just want to event the Suez here. Yeah, you know, I really think if we give up Vietnam, we're going to get rewarded for it. Because um, we, we got this unplayable Suez card in our hand, and we really don't want to get stuck with that till the end of the turn. You know what I mean? Well, if they play Europe, it becomes a lot better. Yeah, because that's then, true. So I want to hold on to that now, actually. I'm, I'm a lot less inclined to play that Suez card. I mean, hitting that one out of six roll on Vietnam would be great, but... I mean, if we roll low on it, it's it's a horrible disaster. I mean, if we can, yeah, I really don't like Vietnam. It just it just gives them too much of an opportunity to slam a bunch of ops in there. Well, do you think they're trying something like event de Gaulle and then play Europe? That's the only reason I can think that they played Asia now. That. They have De Gaulle, they're going to vent it and hope we don't have a three-op. That's the only explanation I can think of for why they're playing this way. 
I guess another thing we could do if, we're, if you're worried about that is we could use Cambridge 5 to go one Malaysia, one France right now. Hey, to be honest, man, I really think the Vietnam is the best play. What what would you prefer to do other otherwise than play Vietnam? Like, what, what would you want to do? Let the Suez event go off and then just fill, go fill France back up and uh, they'll probably take one from Israel and one from UK and then we can use the third up to go Malaysia I just oh man I really want to play Vietnam to give them and then Cambridge and then give them a chance to play Europe before Suez just gives them too much of an opportunity to go Thailand because if we don't hit that one out of six coup, everything else is quite bad. The other five, five out of six. All right, so you really want to play Suez? Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I don't know. It's up to you, man. But I think the Suez event would be the best play here. But you can go for it if you want to. Just I, so what's left in the deck? Do you think they'd be wanting to play instead of putting one off in Afghanistan? Like I, I'm really, I just don't get it. Yeah, I mean, maybe they just figured that we would just put one up into Indonesia to just cancel it or wait how many how many countries is that for them three to one we could just go like maybe they just figured it would be too easy for us to break the domination and they wouldn't be able to hold it because they don't have enough ops in their hand I mean they have the China card though but I mean I can understand not wanting to play the China card but yeah. like one up like it's one up, you know. <laughs> yeah, they probably just figured that putting one more up in Afghanistan is kind of worthless in the long run, and it's too easy for us to break the domination because they don't know that our hand is bad, and it's pretty. It is pretty easy for us to break the domination. I mean, I think there's a pretty good chance they have Europe scoring in their hand, but I think it's almost certain. And if they do, I think playing Suez Crisis now is a big blunder because we don't really want to leave France open at the end of the turn anyway i mean well so well the, the the key difference is we don't care about uk so we can go into like lebanon or something um if they play europe i agree i agree on france though 100 percent. i think we but should I mean, just forget about lebanon we got thailand to worry about yeah so you know i, I mean actually what cards get them into france other than de gaulle none <laughs> Well, so, unless unless they use unless they put an op into Italy or West Germany, yeah, but but they're not doing that this turn, I don't think. Or I guess the socialist um, governments and Suez crisis is uh, already yeah. But in that scenario, for, in that see. scenario, Kevin, yeah, it's I just mean, a goal. Yeah, Europe scored. Why would they be going into West Germany anyway? I really well, they're all three. I really scored, think so that we got to play Suez crisis after Europe. I, I think it's almost a hundred percent they're going to be giving us Europe scoring here. Just giving up the Vietnam uh, early, I think, is very bad because it gives them the bonus in the coup war that, that we don't get. So and also, Europe... also, it gives, like, if we roll low on the Vietnam coup, then it gives them the opportunity to just slam a whole bunch of ups into Thailand and we have no chance to take it. Yeah, but, it, I mean... <sighs> and that's so much better than any other play that they would have. Like, where else are they going to slam ups that's better than Thailand with a bonus? I mean, it's just giving up way too much to give them that opportunity. Okay, we'll we'll play Suez then. Um, so okay. you you want to lock in Suez? Yeah, I like that better. I think I think that's much better. It's not really that. I mean, even if they play Europe scoring, it's just not that amazing for for the Suez event to go off after the Europe scoring instead of before the Europe scoring. I mean, they could just break West Germany and Italy. Like, if we leave France with one in it, they could just break it just to have adjacency to it. They don't necessarily yeah, have to headline it. I mean, they need back-to-back -back action rounds, though. 
pull out. Okay. So two France, and then I don't want to go one Malaysia, one Iraq. Yeah, I like one Iraq a lot more because we want we need we need to get out of Iran. Oh, I like Malaysia a lot more. Oh, I really don't like Malaysia at all. I I really I really like Iraq a lot more. I I think that getting kicked out of Middle East would be really bad. And is uh, possible. okay. Just lock this in then. So so now, now I want to give up the Vietnam Revolts coup. DEFCON is not dropping down to two, so they're going to get the coup on Thailand anyway. So we need to get Milops, and I want to get Vietnam Revolts out of our hand. Yeah, it's still kind of got the same problem as before, I suppose. I mean, how much... what Hitting that one out of six would be good, I suppose. I don't know. Okay, you can go for it if you want to. That's a pretty good roll. Yeah, I guess, I mean, the only one that's, only result that's really, really horrible is a one. We would have been in a really tough spot, Kevin, if we didn't get Mel Ops out of action round two, because they could actually jam West Germany, and then we'd have, we'd be giving up four VPs to Mel Ops, so I like getting Mel Ops now. Yeah, we need to... Get some more, maybe. They're going to be like, that's one of the worst hands ever. <laughs> Decal, Sock, Gov, Suez, Vietnam in a row. The U.S. is awful. I'd rather have us have the decal and the destall than them have it. It really worked out pretty good for us, really. I think their hand was worse. Although they did get the Middle East domination off. That's a really weird turn. Yeah, looks like they don't have Europe. That's unfortunate. Could coup Pakistan at the end here, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah, we could eat two mil ups, I suppose. Because it depends on what they do here. Thank God this wasn't purged. Jeez. Huh. Yeah, it is kind of an interesting choice to headline Nasser instead of Purge. I mean, I know they had Middle East scoring in their hand, but I don't know. A purge would have been almost a game ender. That would have been really bad. We have to counter coup that Vietnam, right? Yeah, yeah, just uh, yeah. Oh, perfect! <laughs> That's the best result. <laughs> yeah, we hit our one out of six, and got our mill ops, full mill ops. That worked out pretty well. Uh, defectors for sure here, right? Because they could have De Gaulle and duck and cover, and Europe scoring. Well, that's true. I kind of like Indo Pak War, actually. I don't know. I guess. I mean, I guess Degal is pretty bad. 
Well, no, the guild, the guild doesn't work because the DEFCON's at 5 right now, so we can just realign it. So, yeah, I um, think... Duck is also out there. What are the odds of them having both Duck and Degal? Oh, yeah, that's true. They could have both. It's not really that unlikely. Uh, it's probably, like, 1 out of 4 or 1 out of 5. How many cards are left in the stub? Yeah, yeah so it's probably, like... Around one out of four that they have both of the, or a little, little less likely than that, maybe. And we also took away all of their headlines. Like, the only red headline that's good is De Gaulle now, right? That's not in our hand. Man, it would suck to run the defectors into Europe scoring. Yeah, you know, I'm starting to really come around to IP War. Um, what, uh, what other than De Gaulle that could they headline that would we would want to be defecting? Um, because De Gaulle is also really only good if um all all they have, they have all they have besides that is blockade, um, Korean War, Comic Con, Warsaw Pact, Olympic Games, capture Nazi scientists. That's it. Yeah, I like uh, I like Indo Pact to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, let's let's go Indo Pact. This is such a weird case. Like, turn two defectors is so good, but, like, I feel like in this situation we don't want to. And they'd probably instant headline De Gaulle if they have De Gaulle and uh, Duck. If, so you're, like... if you're upscoring had gotten played last turn, I would like the defectors a lot more. Because then we, um, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't, have, wouldn't have any chance to cancel out our own scorecard on the headline. Yeah, someone is saying that your stream is broken, Kevin. Oh, on God. Discord. God damn it, what's wrong with that? Looks good on my end. Maybe their computer's broken. Let me let me pull it up on my phone. I got zero drop frames on this. Uh, it works for me. OBS you know, Kevin, deal. I don't think a half hour delay is enough because that turn took half an hour. <laughs> Like, yeah, <laughs> maybe maybe that maybe that's their strategy. Oh no, they didn't quite. Yeah, maybe they did see our hand at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the maximum that OBS can do. I might have to switch uh, streaming software to put a higher delay on. I don't think it can go any higher on OBS. It's really funny. I've never had a single turn be half an hour. Yeah, yeah, that might be the longest turn I've ever played. Also, it was pretty complicated turn, really. Too. Can you click on that too, real quick? Nine and five, okay, I did get it all, yeah, okay. Sounds good. Yeah, they have no way to beat us to Thailand, really. Um, all those Thailand access cards are gone. I guess we should just play UN Intervention for one and hold the D-stall through, um, through the reshuffle if we can, and if we have to discard yeah. it on blockade, we just discard it on blockade. I think there's no way around that. We're just going to have to use the UN for one op and I guess space the Fidel. Shit. Ah, shit. I was hoping they didn't have that. Well, they gotta have the duck and cover also. At least we got Pakistan. That was a big time to hit a roll. Maybe they're just gonna play Europe scoring. I guess duck and cover. I mean, that's just kind of unfortunate. I mean, if they do have both of those cards. How many ops? We have a ton of ops in our hand here. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, That's ten, a good hand. eleven, twelve. Twelve ops. Man, we have a really. I really like our chances here. I think. I think like even if they do have duck and cover and take France here, I really like our chances here. We we got like basically everything we wanted except for. Um, yeah, they're not getting domination on us with the Marshall Plan. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I really feel like we're like way ahead here, especially after that IP war roll. I think we're really doing awesome. Oh, whoa. Um, so we just fill up Europe with NATO, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Um, do you want to consider putting one in India and letting them drop the Europe for free or no? No. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine with that decision. Yeah, I don't want to lose that Europe domination. Yeah, so, so like this, right? Yeah. Amazing. 
That was really a bad sequence for them, especially if they're holding Europe scoring. Yeah. I guess they could have five-year plan also. Um, that hasn't been seen yet either. CIA also see unseen, and we have Fidel, so... I sort of want to space the Fidel. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could space the AI I mean, war. I, I mean, CIA and Duck and Five Year Plan all unseen. It was, you know, pretty good. I think. Um. So I, I definitely want to get into India for sure, and I want to get Italy overprotected. But I think India for sure is something we want to do, right? Yeah, I, having one in India would be nice. Um, having two in Algeria would be nice also. Ooh, yeah, I like that. I don't want to play EEU because it's our only playable three-op, though. Yeah. We could just play the U. I mean, we could just play the UN for one op and put it in India because I don't see anything else that's super time, you know, we're under a lot of time pressure to do. I think there's a lot of time pressure to beat him into Algeria. Yeah, but we, I mean, I, I think India is the highest priority, to be honest with you, because I don't want to coup and lose Pakistan on a China card coup. I guess how, I mean, how un, how likely is that? Not likely, right? You want to just put two from defectors into Algeria? Kind of like that. Yeah. I kind of like that, too. Well... Maybe we should go India instead. Uh, nah, I really like the Algeria, I guess. Yeah, I like putting two in Algeria, I think. I, I like the Algeria, too. Yeah. If they play China card, they can't five-year plan Europe also. so. Yeah, that's a good call, yeah. I, so, lock I this in. Yeah, I think this is good, yeah. I mean, they might coup Pakistan, but... Yeah, they're going to have to have a pretty humongous coup to flip it. It would be nice to take Thailand on this turn, but it's kind of unlikely that they're going to have an access card to it on next turn. I don't know. I mean, I guess they have a decent chance to redraw the Vietnam or the decal. After I want to get reshuffled. at some point, too. Yeah, it would be nice to have two more in Italy in case they redraw the socialist governments. I don't know if that's a higher priority than other stuff, though. We might have to just risk the, risk, risk the socialist governments redraw. Actually, I, th I kind of like just leaving Europe how it is, honestly, and just hope they don't draw, redraw the socialist governments. And yeah, even if they overprotect everything, even if they do, oh, here we go. Okay. Um, so we're definitely playing UN for one op now. So I really, I really like Kevin. Just one India, to be honest with you. Okay, that sounds good to me. You know, I guess we don't have to space anything, really. I mean, we. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's stupid not to space. I kind of like spacing the Fidel, I guess. We got it. We're just got to worry about Milops too. I mean, maybe not. Let's see what they do here first. Yeah, I don't. I don't really think we should bother just overprotecting Europe and just hope that we don't get uh, anti-Europe headline. And even if they do have an anti-Europe headline that they redraw, we might redraw defectors and cancel it. And Truman Doctrine is still unseen. We got that. Although yeah, you know, I Kevin, I wonder why they spent so much effort trying to flip Europe there when we have all the ops already in, you know, the two stability countries. Like, why not do other stuff, you know? 
Like, cooing Italy to me seems so bad. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't, I feel uh, like they have Europe and no five-year plan, to be honest with you. That's what this smells like to me. Yeah. Really curious to see what they do here. I really. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay, they're just gonna take that. I guess we just space then, huh? Yeah, I definitely want to event Fidel though because CIA um, is possible in their hand. Oh, uh, I mean, I guess we don't have to space anything. I'm actually cool with that. I mean, we could just play everything for ops and let it all go off. I don't hate that really. Uh, I can see it. Yeah, this is an interesting spot. Israel uh, completely open with Arab-Israeli. I mean, it's worth two ops. Um, we're not racing them to hit a space. So, I mean, it's giving them one VP expected value, but we get two ops. Yeah, I mean, we could just play all, all seven ops here and not space anything. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. Kind of like that, too. So they don't have duck and cover. I kind of like going Malaysia here. Well, I don't want them to coup it because that's the only yeah. way they can get in there. Let's lower the DEFCON and then do that. Uh, I mean, there's no good ways to lower the DEFCON, though. Libya. Yeah, we could coup Libya. Let's coup Libya and then go Malaysia and then go Thailand with three at the end. You know, I kind of like filming India more than cooing Libya for some reason. Well, we got to get Melops and... Uh, or even overprotecting Italy. No, I don't like overprotecting in Europe at all. I think that's the worst option. All right, so you want to coup Libya? Yeah, I think that's the best. I mean, we, we'd have really, like... I, I don't want to eat two Melops, and I like lowering the DEFCON here. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I think I think this is good, yeah. And then we beat them into Thailand, basically. Just lower the okay. DEFCON and then beat them into Thailand. And uh, we rolled a five, so our rolls are really good this game. That was a good time to roll good. And their roll failed also. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that was the wrong approach. I don't know. I mean, I guess roll, I like rolling this. good I like kind of lot. makes it work. If they have CIA, they have to play it now also, by the way. I just thought about another play that I hadn't thought of before. Like, I mean, I guess now that with with the D-stall gone, there's really an even bigger chance that they could get into Thailand after I redrawn one of those access cards. I was thinking maybe, like, maybe instead of doing that shit, we should have gone Columbia. Like, AR save some ops for AR6 Columbia. I, don't uh, I mean, style, I, I I don't know if I like the Columbia. Because um, they got a really I, good coup on Panama right now. Uh, I think there's a good chance they have CIA. Yep, there's CIA. Oh, well, that's awesome. Oh, Europe and five-year plan. Okay. Um, Do you want to coup Libya? or I mean, do you want to coup Egypt here? I kind of like Egypt coup. I like it. I, I just don't want to see them coup, you know? I don't want them to coup Panama either, so this yeah, is... this is, Egypt. Yeah, yeah, I like it. All right, well, that's kind of, yes, the expected result. So then we go... So now I'm on, in favor of spacing the Fidel, actually. Oh, no, now we got to get to Thailand. Oh, good. Yeah, good point. So... Or wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's think about this for a second. We could go, we could go to yeah. Libya, one Malaysia right here, and then yeah. go Thailand. Yeah, I think that's the play, Kevin. Yeah, that, like looks, that. that looks pretty good to me. Okay, I'll, lock it in. Yeah, I like it. I mean, it, it would suck if we end up running into a Muslim revolution, but it's not like the end of the world or something. Everything is going really well for us in this game so far. Yeah, this is a really, really good position. I especially don't want to space the Fidel now because uh, they don't even have the option to coup Thailand at the beginning of next turn anymore because the DEFCON's only going to be three, so um, I, I really, really want to get into Thailand now even more than I did before. 
I, I like this board a lot. Yeah, I, I'd say, I mean, we're ahead on time also. They're, they're 10 minutes behind on time. And we're basically right where we should be about, we're slightly behind. So yeah, I feel like everything's going really well for us here. I feel like that's a memeable thing. Like you're saying everything's going well and we just five your plan to Europe. So lock into Thailand, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Uh, okay, so what's in their hand, Kevin? I don't know, maybe Spacen would have been better there. I guess it's too late for that though. I always think about think about the play after it's already too late. Um, yeah, they've got duck and cover, captured Nazi scientists, Romania, and Korean War. All right, so not a stacked hand. I like headlining U.S. Japan and dropping Asia AR one as a possibility. What do you think about that? Does that give us domination? And in... it does. It's three Inter to yeah. Interesting. Let's think about five-year plan for a second um, before we lock that in. Um, I don't know. Five-year plan is kind of wacky, huh? Maybe Japan is the best. Five -year I mean, plan. containment's gone. Marshall plan's gone. Um, I guess we're just trying to hit decal or... Um, I mean, we could hit defectors if they headline something bad. I'm cool with Japan. I think five-year plan is sort of goofy. I'm, I'm coming around, actually, to the five-year plan. <laughs> it, I, um, I mean... Uh, it, hitting duck and cover would be kind of nice, I suppose. Um, I guess hitting captured Nazi scientists would be kind of nice, but they're probably going to headline that. I don't know. I mean, it could hit something like defectors, which would also be sort of weird, or it could hit Europe scoring. I don't know. I Europe mean, scoring is what scares me. I think Japan is probably okay. Probably better. It, it I mean, take the tempo on Asia. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I mean, we could even get greedy fun. and take India also and to get the extra point. I don't know, maybe the five-year plan is better. Like, well, there's really no rush for us to get Asia. It's not like they're going to be able to take Japan. You know, we've got, I, th I think, actually, thinking about this a little more, I think it's so easy for us to get the nomination in Asia that there's really, really no reason for us to event this Japan on second thought because there's just absolutely no way they're going to be able to stop our domination there. They can't have IP war. They, they probably don't have very many ops just based on what we can see. Even if they play duck and cover for ops, uh, they're not going to have that many ops. I mean, I guess they have China card, but what are they going to do? What are they going to do with the China card? Like jam it into Japan or something? I mean, I, I, I am starting to like the five-year plan. <laughs> I'm starting to, I don't know, I still kind of like the U.S.-Japan. I like just, just making us further ahead in Asia, you know? We don't have to worry about it mid-turn. I kind of want to get greedy and take Japan and India before we play the Asia scoring. I mean, to get the extra I, point. I'm feeling the, the U.S. Japan a little more. I mean, do you really like the five year plan? I, I kind of like the U.S. Japan. Yeah, the more I like it, the more I like the five year plan. Because if we play the Japan, we have to just eat one up. It turns it from a four up into a three up. And um, I really want to get greedy and take both of those countries. There's no way they're going to be able to stop the. Asia domination. I mean, I guess if they headline like D call and flip Thailand or something like that. D call is the only card. But if they had if if we headline Japan and they headline D call, it's not gonna. We're not gonna have domination uh, anyway in that case. Um, yeah, you know I think I think I like do? five year plan better. Mm. I really don't want to lose that one up by eventing the Japan either. Okay. All right. So five year plan. Yeah, I think I think I do like this better. Yeah. Oh. Well. Oh. Interesting. Wow. I guess they were. Hoping. That was a sequence. <laughs> yeah, they were hoping for the defectors headline. Dude, if we get the Asia scoring off, then they're going to be very far behind on points. <laughs> And they don't look good on the board either. Yeah. 
and we're winning on space race, but they do have captured Nazi scientists in their hand. Yeah, I think we should be greedy and take Japan and India here to get the extra point. Okay. And also, I guess we want to get into Angola just in case they have D-stall or D-call in their hand. It would be nice to get into Angola first. I, f I feel like they event either of those cards now if they've got them. Yeah, probably so. Oh, with Duck and Cover in their hand, I'd be taking a risk in headlining D-Call if I had it. So I think we can probably rule out D-Call. Yeah, that would be awfully um, cautious for them to not headline D-Call right here if they had it. Like, in overly cautious. This is really good for us now. This is, like, really good. Yeah, we have a really awesome hand, too. I love that we never overprotected the Italy. You were you were 100% right on that one. Well, it would have sucked if they headlined socialist governments, but I think it was worth the risk there. Um... Yeah, it would have sucked, though. <laughs> Yeah, we can also event the IP war for uh, for mill ops. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. So if we get Asia off, how many points is that Asia? Uh, it's going to be six for us, right? Yeah, so we're going to be at 15 points. If we hit the end, we end if we hit uh, Indo Pack and get our mill ops, and they don't have any mill ops, and we get two from that also because they don't have any way to get mill ops this turn. Well, I guess they could they could event Korean War maybe, uh, but that's oh sort yeah, of, they're eventing of... Korean War, yeah. Um, so we got to get Japan here then if they're going to be eventing Korean War for mill ops. I kind of like going three Japan and one Angola. With a four up. What do you think about France, that? France, right? Or do you want to go Canada here? France, for sure. You know, the NORAD out there, that's... Uh, I mean, France is already overprotected, and De Gaulle's gone, and Europe scored. That's all the factors that make me want to go Canada. Um... I don't know. It seems kind of unlikely the NORAD's going to go off, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, we're not. I mean, okay. So, yeah, France, right? I think France is a little better, yeah. Okay. They don't um, have NORAD in their hand unless they drew it after the reshuffle. Yeah. So, nuclear test ban, three Japan, one Ang Angola. Yeah, I like that a lot. Can you click on the three for me? Okay, thanks. I got them all. Yeah, I think we can definitely be greedy and take India before we play this scorecard. Yeah, like you said, we're not that far away from 20 here. Like, logically, it would seem like there's no rush to go to Angola because it seems like it would, would have made more sense for them to play a D-call or D-stall event last AR if they had it in their hand. But so often, I try to think like that, and then they just have it anyway. Yeah. Um, so now, do you want to do Warsaw Pact 2, India 1, Zaire? Yeah, that sounds good. I kind of like Mexico a little more. Is there? Because we have the ops to fill Mexico, Guatemala, Panama, and Zaire, right? One, two, three, four, five. We have four in US Japan alone. What do you think about overprotecting Thailand, Kevin, also, in case they get the decal later? 
Y I like Mexico here. To okay. Be honest with you. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. And then we can dump Asia scoring um, on the next AR. To dump Asia now, right? Yeah, that's, I think we got to. They know all of our cards except for um, Indo Pack. In Indo Pack. Okay, so how many ops do we have here? We've got. Oh yeah, and which card do we want to hold is the other question. Uh, I'm fine with holding Olympic Games. So I want to play US Japan to spread. What about um, what about holding Truman Doctrine? Uh they they have double adjacency to Italy. It does nothing for us. Like I'd rather have a better hand later. Oh, they have Air of Israeli. Hmm. So we want one Zaire, one Mexico. You could also event the IP war now. Yeah. Um, would it be worth it to try to run into Nigeria here, like through Saharan states and Nigeria? Because if they coup it, then we can recoup and get our mill ups that way instead of. You no, know, I think that's a good last AR play. Um, yeah, we could do it on the last AR also, but we could do it earlier than that, right? Because it's kind of awkward for them to coup it. I mean, I guess it's not that weird, I suppose, for them to just coup it. Yeah, what do you want to do for our last AR? I guess we can start thinking about that now. Um, yeah, I mean, Colombia is probably worth thinking about. I don't know if that's the best, though. I feel the same way about not overprotecting Italy again. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, it's Colombia is kind of risky though because the only way they can get there is into South America is um, Allende and Destal, but we have more opportunity. We've got puppet governments, OAS. Yeah, I'm not concerned Panama. about Colombia. Yeah, maybe I think, we, I think we can get Colombia here. What'd you say? I think we can forget. I'm not yeah, too worried yeah. about Colombia. Yeah, let's forget about Colombia. It would be nice to have one more in Thailand, though. Yeah, I kind of want to just want event the IP war, to be honest with you, man. Okay, yeah, go for that. Man, Pakistan is bank for us this game. Yeah. They're... We're going to be knocking on the door of 20 pretty soon here. I kind of like just playing all the ops now and holding Truman Doctrine because we can get more, like, um, we can get a better setup for when the mid-war scorecards get shuffled in. Like, we can use the extra op to do something like um, put one in Laos or something, and then we have an extra point on Southeast Asia scoring. And, like, okay, so we want one Mexico, one Zaire, one Thailand. That's three. And I guess one Panama would probably be good. Well, I don't know. Maybe Laos is better than Panama. Their hand mm. absolutely sucked. <laughs> we hit the only like high op card in their hand. Yeah, that was a good hit on the five year plan. Yeah, Kevin, you're coming in with all the, the clutch uh, decisions in this game so far. It's a good team effort. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, the man, Vietnam I... play worked out pretty well for us, too. I mean, we ended yeah. up getting two shots to hit the one out of six instead of one shot to hit it. So having two shots at it, I guess, makes it a lot more uh, likely. I mean, and the Milop situation also. Yeah, I absolutely hate getting to the end of the turn with, with no Milops. They're way behind on time, too. They're going to have a real problem uh, with time if this goes to the end. The 30-minute turn one. <laughs> I, w I wonder if they've ever played with this uh, combination of players on their team before. They might be having uh, 
wish wish they played a practice game before this maybe is yeah. this the normal team that they usually have i uh, i didn't know that this harry Wu. Uh, i thought he lived in new york he must have maybe just moved to new jersey or something so maybe he's the new player is my guess because i know ryan pindelik and Corey johnson we've played those two before I've played against. I was worried about Panama. I was thinking we should have gone Panama. Yeah, all right. Well, they just wasted ops. So I definitely want to fill Panama now. <laughs> Man, I really don't like that play by them at all. Basically, two ops down the drain. Yeah, they can't think of a better play than that. I feel like, they're totally out of stuff to do. I mean, they could have gone Nicaragua, Haiti. I like that more than what they actually did. Yeah, or Israel. Or um, Algeria. Yeah. To be honest, Kevin, I like Olympic Games, Zaire, Panama here. Uh, okay. And yeah, this is could... uh, such a disaster turn for them. We could try to um, step towards Nigeria at the end here. I suppose. Yeah, I want the, the second op in Angola, too. It's also nice to have a non-battleground in Africa for the domination. Well, they had Purge again. Why did they not headline that? Like, what are they even doing with their ops? There, they went Israel this time. Okay, that, that makes more sense than realigning. I think. So, I'm thinking... Thailand won. I'm thinking like this. Yeah, I like it. Or wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, it's, oh. it's okay. <laughs> I, I was thinking that maybe Saharan states would be better than Cameroon, but it's no big deal. So South America. Actually, maybe really maybe this is better anyway. Now that I think about it, because if they try to coup Zaire here, we have it surrounded already. Yeah, well, we like have Panama and Junta. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we don't even need to headline Junta here. Um, we could just. What is our best headline here? Nixon? I don't like giving them a coup. Oh, you want to you want to coup Cuba with the junta? Well, I'm thinking junta or CMC are both good, but I like junta because it gets us into uh, into south, and then we can get a fast south scoring off. Yeah, I, I see. What they have no way in. I, they I have can no see way it. in at all. I can see it, and we can just hold the Allende. Can you put that card on the right? The Allende. Thanks. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can just hold that guy and space the South African unrest. <clears throat> yeah, you know, I'd prefer to hold the ass not actually into the next turn. Um, okay. Because we're getting uh, South America scoring played, and then Iende doesn't matter. Can we win on this turn? We can get. Yeah, south control. It's possible with Panama and Junta. Yeah, let's go for the win here. I, I like the Junta headline. Okay. We can, I, I can see it. And then we can just use Nixon for two ops. And, or how many how many ops do we have here? One, two, three, four. Pretty ops limited. Five, six, seven. I have this seven. feeling if we go for the south control, we have to play the ass knot. We'll no, we, it, it, we can perfectly do it without playing the astronaut or the IN day. We can get Junta, Junta is two, Panama's one, and then we got Nixon makes five, and then we got four more, which is nine, which is the exact perfect amount. Truman, Cuban, Junta, Panama event, and Nixon is exactly enough to get South America control without using the IN day or the astronaut or the South African unrest. Incredible. So okay. let's, let's. I I think the Junta headline is is good. Then I I yeah, this is good. They're not going to be happy to see Junta go. <laughs> They're not. Even though Ku in a three stab isn't very efficient, that doesn't really matter because um, denying them a coup is so good. Like you said, we we don't want to get um, Angola cooed or Panama cooed. Yeah. Oh shit! Interesting. That's probably the worst card they could have headlined. Interesting. So I guess we go Argentina here then. 
Well, they could still have brush. Well, uh, oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Um, they could have brush war, which would be a disaster. But then I guess we can ask not the south away. You know, another thing we could do here is just not coup down now, because if they get the Cambridge Five down there, like we could we could put these two in Chile and then just realign Cuba and leave the Defcon at three. Eh, maybe that's no good. Yeah. No, we also get the the Panama Canal into the north part of South. Man, this is such a weird situation. I don't know what to do here. Well, they get to beat us there. Uh, hmm. Damn. Maybe we should put it in uh, Brazil or something. You know, Kevin, I'm getting this weird feeling that now we ask not the whole hand. Because Truman, South African Rest, Panama, Allende, and South are all very low-op cards. Hmm. Now I'm kind of feeling like my idea is changing of what to do here. I mean, what do you think about that? Hmm. I'd rather ask not on a lone gunman hand. I, I agree, especially because turn three was pretty blue. Like we could have it just a terrible hand in mid war. I'd, I'd love to get rid of. I mean, our hand is kind of bad, but I think I'd rather hold the ask not and just see if we get a worse one later. Okay. No, I agree with that. I like that. Um. So what do we do with the two junta ops then? This is really a hell of a puzzle right here, huh? Man, I almost think we should put the two in Brazil and then coup Cuba. No, I definitely think we got to go Argentina or Chile because we get access up to the north with Panama. Yeah, but it's going to be too late because if we go for the bottom half, then they put their Cambridge 5 up in the top half and they fill it up before we get the chance to do anything. Yeah, well, it's the same thing, but we don't have a Panama to get into the bottom half. So I feel like we have to go into the bottom half with Nunta. So by, by, by the time Panama gets evented, it's too late because they've already taken them both. But they might put that one up in Argentina. No, you know, well, you no, 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 they won't do that. Okay. Well, I guess, I don't know, maybe they would. Like, I mean, they don't know we have Panama. I mean, there's also... They don't know we have uh, Allende either. There's also OAS and puppet governments, so, I mean, we have... Shit, that is... Uh, man, I don't know, it is a hell of a puzzle, honestly. Um, I think leaving it... I, I don't know if leaving the DEF CON at 3 really is good or not. I, I don't I don't like leaving the DEF CON at 3, because then they can just put easily, they can put in Chile and coup Panama. I really don't want to allow a Panama coup. Oh man, I I don't know what the answer to it is. It's it's uh, it is a tough puzzle. I don't know what the answer is, honestly. Yeah, I don't either. Um, I think it. I think Brazil is best, but I'm honestly not sure. You know, I really like Chile because I'm just really worried that they have brush war and they wipe us out. Or or ABM. I don't hate Chile. I don't hate Chile. Maybe Chile is the best. Okay, let's let's do that then. And then coup uh, Cuba, right? Yeah, I think this is good. Oh, we're just rolling really well. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that was good. That junta, I think that was the best way to play that. I like it. I think they have a very easy play though. They're gonna go Uruguay and go Argentina, Brazil. We get dominated, I think. You know, I think we should have gone Argentina, Kevin. Fuck. No, I think this is good. I, I like this. This is definitely... Oh, man. I think No, I think we messed up. Because it's it's too susceptible to brush war and ABM, like you said. Nah, but I think we got to run those risks because we're just giving up the domination with this setup. No, they could, they're not going to be able to take domination. Oh, they go Uruguay, Argentina... Brazil, and then they get the first step into Venezuela, so we're getting dominated. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that going to Uruguay. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's one of those things that as soon as I made the play, I'm like, oh, that's a mistake. I didn't, yeah, that would be uh, interesting. Um, I didn't even consider that they could put it in Uruguay. Yeah, yeah, we. I think we made, I think we should have gone Argentina, to be honest. But they're, with you. they're still not 
going to be able to get domination in that unless they have a four up in their hand also. I mean, I guess, yeah, that, that would be a pretty good Oh, yeah, we still need one more in Chile, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're, yeah you're right. We probably should have gone a different country than Chile, but... Well, maybe, I don't know. They're thinking it'll take a long time to think about it. Maybe they're... Uh, it, Maybe they're it, it, not going to think of it either. I'm sure he'll think of that. But, I mean, we can ask... Um, to be honest, if they get domination, then I like ask nodding the South then. Because I think we got to push for 20. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're doing. That is, that is a really clever play. I didn't think of that. I'm cool with just ask nodding this. Well, they only put one in Brazil, so now we're Panama canaling, right? Uh... Oh, yeah, we can stop the domination still, huh? Yeah, technically we can still fight it, so I like eventing Panama. And they probably don't have another four up in their hand, or else they would have played that instead of China card. Yeah. So do this. Yeah. Okay. We still not be. We still might not be able to stop the domination, but um, I guess if we can't stop the domination, we could always just play the ask not anyway. It would be nice to get mill ops, but it's not like required on this turn, I guess. We could also event the Nixon for two VPs. I don't think I'd rather use the Nixon oh. for ops. Cuban three Venezuela here. Yeah. Can you click on the four for me? Okay, thanks. I got them all. Yeah, we um, like if they jam a whole bunch into Chile here and we can't take it, we could always just event the Ask Not anyway, because it's not like we were gonna throw away Cuban Missile Crisis with the Ask Not anyway. Yeah, Panama was the only card, and I think we got value out of the Panama. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I mean, the lone gunman is still left, but there are more blue cards left in the deck than red cards, so it's kind of unlikely we're gonna have a horrible hand. Oh, whoa. So we have to coup. Oh. Mm. Where did they go? Colombia and where? Uh, Cuba. Oh. Oh, knowing that we have the ask not, Kevin, I kind of like this. Because they don't know we can ask not south. So they're going to realign Venezuela, we realign Cuba, and then we drop south. Uh, to the ask not. What do you think of that? Or do you not like that? Uh, I, uh, let me think about it for a second. Or we could just event it for two VPs and get closer to twenty. I I don't like that. I don't like eventing it. I like this more than than eventing it. Okay. Uh, but do you like this? <laughs> um. Yeah, you can lock it in. I I, I can't figure it out. <laughs> I mean I mean I can't I, I mean uh, I can't figure out if that's the best or not. But it looks, you know, I I can see. Yeah, I mean this this realign is is kind of risky for them. I mean... They might fail the real line also. They have to succeed on this real line, so... Yeah, the real the real line is pretty... I mean, I'm not saying that they shouldn't do it. It's just that um, the real line is um, not, like, amazing for them. But, I mean, they probably are going to real line. There's a decent chance that the real line fails, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Which would be a, yeah. really good for us. Oh man, we gotta worry about Nigeria also. Yeah, we got a lot going on with this this turn. <laughs> and we gotta worry about mill ops also. Yeah, I think we should have gone Argentina, but it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, you can't make every play perfect. It was a tough and, puzzle, but yeah. And, we... and you know, Kevin, like the thing to consider too, we had ass not. So if we did get brush ward out, then we just ass not away the south, and it's an easy decision. 
So, and then they burned Brush on a region that doesn't get scored or ABM. So I think we should have gone Argentina 100%. Well, yeah, yeah, we, we should have gone Argentina, but, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we, f we figured out the puzzle a little bit too late, but, you know, that happens sometimes. We can't can't make every play perfect all the time. Yeah, we're midway through turn four, and they've burned half their clock. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing so hot on the clock either. I mean, if they succeed with a Venezuela realign, we can't really realign Cuba, though, can we? Then we have to invent the astronaut, right? Um. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I guess we probably should have gone Nigeria and. Uh... But but this it it still gives them a chance to fail. I mean, and then they're still under pressure. They have to coup that Nicaragua, so they might not coup it. Also, that's what they have. Kind of sets us up for a Che event too. Right, but. I mean, they they had that earlier too, right? With Cameroon. Well, no, I feel like Shea's a better headline than Cambridge Five. They got mad value out of the Cambridge Five, but still. Yeah, they did. Like game changing value. We're still way ahead here, though. I think we just gotta gotta play our cards right, and I think it should be a win here. I've I've lost positions like this. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's definitely not impossible to lose. And they are really thinking about this. I figured they would just realign Venezuela immediately. Like, I mean, there's not really they they know that we have South America scoring in our hand. Like, what are they thinking about? Just realign. They spent a lot of time thinking about things that I didn't think they needed to spend time on. So yeah, like this this place seems really obvious to me. Like, or maybe they have Central America in their hand. Maybe that's what they're thinking about. Is they're maybe like maybe that's why they went Cuba. Yeah, they, maybe that's what they're worried about. Is they're worried about the Central America turning into a big disaster for them. I guess that kind of makes sense. Like if they were holding Central America scoring, that maybe that maybe that's what their deal is. Huh. I still kind of want to hold the ask. Not, I mean, I guess I'd, I don't want to give up South yeah, America no, domination, I though. I, I I'd rather. I guess I'd rather give up the ask not than give up a South America domination. A lot of really bad stuff we can pick up. It's just so unlikely. It, out of four, three cards or four cards, one of them is going to be Longumbin, though. And there's a 50-50 chance we're going to end up drawing Lone Gunman anyway. Right. I mean, these are all crappy cards. I mean, we can pick up some good stuff, you know. So. Time is a big problem for them, though. That's, that's for sure. And if this goes a distance to final, which it looks like it is, that's going to be a huge issue for them. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's go South America then. Yeah, South America scoring, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. So now we get to hold on to the ass knot then. Yeah, they did have the central. Mm. Okay, so you were right on that. Um, do we want to coup something here for Milops or just... Space, South African, or what? I kind of want to coup Colombia. Yeah, I kind of want to coup Colombia too. Coup with Truman. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty good time to roll it too. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we could have gone one Zaire there, maybe. Maybe it would have been better. So, yeah, so Kevin, we got some nice value from that uh, Venezuela-Nicaragua play. 
Now we space South African for sure, right? Well, I don't want them getting two spaces off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I forgot about that double space thing. You're right. If we have to eat one mil up here, it wouldn't be the end of the world, I suppose. Yeah, and if they don't go um, Nigeria, we have a very good last AR play of Saharan States. I think that's our play regardless because we need the... Um, oh, they're surely the going to they're, they're step into Nigeria here. kind of want to go Laos. I like Laos too. It's good. But I want it's to good uh, with... Africa Dom. I really want to set up the Africa Dom though. Oh, yeah. Because guess... we might draw it. We might want to headline it. It depends on our next uh, hand, I guess. I don't know. I haven't seen Brush War yet or Southeast Asia. Oh, scoring. yeah. 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 You know, you're right. Laos for sure. Yeah. I like Laos. I haven't seen Decal yet either. And I don't want them to be able to headline Decal and beat us there. I got like Laos at the end here. And just They're eat, below eat 40 minutes in up. turn four. Yeah. Um, holding, getting to hold the Ascanaut is really nice. Oh. All right, well, we want that gone. We want that gone. Do we want one small step gone? I think we do. Uh, no, let's keep it. Well, so it gives a greater chance of VOA Africa scoring coming out before the reshuffle. I'm kind of, I kind of like it, actually. He's getting rid of it. Okay. It, uh, there's a chance they could just have a disaster at hand, and that's like a relief valve card if they draw it. But I don't, I want to give them as few easy cards as possible. There are kind of a lot of blue cards left in the deck. There's Colonial Rear Guards, OAS, Sadat, Pope, Defectors, Nuke Subs, Puppet Governments, VOA, Bear Trap, Alliance, East European Unrest, NORAD, Shuttle, Usuri, NATO. Okay, so Laos here, right? I like it. Oh, uh, we did pick up the Africa. That's okay. We can still get Africa domination. Yeah. Do you want to headline the Missile Envy and try and wipe? Because um, Duck is in the discard. So I think Missile Envy is our best headline in this hand. That does sound pretty good. Let's do it. Is there any way that we lose? I don't think there is. Only if it hits Summit and we lose the Summit roll. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty unlikely. I love that we do Muslim though. That's a pretty huge card here. And if they have Miss Lundby, they can't flip Zaire either. So this is this is really good. <clears throat> yeah, I made a bad mistake in one of my recent games because I was afraid that they were going to do something like that, and I was like, "Oh wait, they only have two ops because of the missile envy," and I realized yeah. I made a mistake too late. Getting the next space would be really nice too. Yeah, so we can UN Muslim and uh, Space Willy and just let Flower Power go off, I guess. Can you put the Brezhnev all the way on the right? Thanks. This is a very easy ops turn for us. Oh! That's nice. Nice three points. Give us an ABM. So they 100% do not have decal. We can just wipe that out of their hand. The ABM is four points. That's uh, almost on the cusp of winning. If, we, if they do ABM. give us an ABM, what, what's the best thing that we could even do with it? Uh... Nah, it's, it's Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines. That puts us almost at 20. Oh, yeah, and then we can maybe even VP track out with Africa, I suppose. But... Yeah, and and it would leave the DEFCON at four, so it gets a coup back in Africa. Ah, well, I guess that's good for Middle East. All right, so flower power, we want uh, two, like that. Um, 
Actually, do, do we want Saharan states? We need a non-battleground, and that's the only one stab we have access to. Why not Why not Botswana, and then they have a really tough time breaking our... It's too easy for them to coup Saharan oh, yeah. states. Like or that. or we could get greedy. Well, no, I don't want to get greedy. Maybe that's that's too greedy. <laughs> when you say about talking about getting greedy, that scares me. You know, I, what if we yeah. just do the UN Muslim here? Um, yeah, yeah, that I guess that probably makes more sense. Huh? Well, actually, you know what? If we play UN, we have to give up China card because we can't hold the ass knot. I definitely want to keep holding the ass knot. Nah, let's just play it for the ops. What if we space here, Kevin? Space, we're, we're uh, space up. Willy, right? Yeah, actually, actually, I kind of like that, huh? We could just space the Willy right here and go for that, and yeah, I like it. I like it. I think that is good. Space makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. Um. Are we sure? I like it a lot, yeah, actually. Okay. That's a really good idea. Ah, shoot. Well, it was a good idea, poorly executed. <laughs> I think we can just play ass not for three ops, because they're... I mean, I know that lone gunman is still left, but... Hmm. I don't know. I guess we could just play the China card and hold the ass not. I don't hate that either, honestly. If they have ABM in Angola, then we ass not the Africa, so it's not the end of the world. But let's keep holding some of these bad cards, I guess, in our hand. Let's see what happens. I really don't. I don't hate playing the China card here and holding Asknod and UNing the Muslim. I think that's okay. With cultural out there, I definitely think China. I I definitely like playing a China card with cultural out there. No Formosian either. I mean, we could use. China. They don't have brush war. We could. One hundred percent. They don't have brush war. Okay, now ah, let's shit. now let's go Botswana, South Africa. We're gonna find out if they have ABM here. Well, they can't have it because we missile envied the headline and they gave us a three. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. It could also hit us with a um, quagmire. That'd be kind of scary. That would suck, but I think it's unlikely. I think it's probably better than what they headline Southeast Asia scoring, right? Yeah, it seems like they would headline that card if they had it. And also, it's kind of weird for them to do just do it in the mid turn. Like, I don't, I don't hate that play, but you just don't see people do it very often. Yeah. Man, it would maybe. Be so nice. A red card. We would be winning if we got a red card and coup Nigeria. Could use China card to jam North Korea at the end of this turn, perhaps. Yeah. Also, it would be nice to put two more in Italy. We still haven't seen socialist governments. Uh, we still haven't seen them. We don't want to get it flipped now. But obviously, Shit. we have to worry right. about uh, Africa first. Ooh, interesting. They want to fight for that. So, coup Saharan, right? That sounds good to me. I mean, what? I mean, we have higher ops cards than they do at our disposal. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But, I mean, we don't really have access to a lot of African non-battlegrounds. Like, what are we going to do, coup a non-battleground with a four? Yeah. Uh, uh, that right. would be so ugly. Because <laughs> we don't really have a lot of access to the non-battlegrounds in Africa. Um, what is the country count now? Five to four? Hmm. Well, they don't know that. I mean, we did just coup with a three op. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, if they want to fight for it, they could go like Sudan and Southeast states here. And it would be hard for us to get our domination. We want to fill Vietnam too, even with Southeast Asia gone, because that's a brush protection. Maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, I, I would like to... I mean, yeah. I, 
it really depends on what they do here. I think I think we really have to just make our plan kind of around around their play that they make right here. It would be nice to have one in Vietnam. It would be nice to have two more in Italy for sure. Whoa. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, it's a really good thing we didn't play Muslim earlier. So they, yeah. they are probably going to be hitting us with a quagmire. I think we want Africa gone now, right? Yeah, I like that a lot. They can hit us with... Uh... Man, that was such a weird play by them, wasn't it? Why would they... How would like... they pick up Purge? I don't like that play, really. Even if they do have Quagmire in there. And maybe that's what they're going to do. They're going to hold that and Quagmire until the next turn and then try the combo on the next turn, maybe. You know what okay. I'm saying? Yeah, so... Hmm. Maybe, that's, maybe that's what they're thinking. They're going to they're gonna headline uh, one of them on the start of next turn and then play the other one on AR1 is, is maybe their plan here. So if they do do that, we've got potential. There's socialist governments, OPEC, Destal, Cultural Revolution, Comic Con. <coughs> Those are the only red three ops. I mean, I guess I guess it would be kind of unusual if we didn't draw any of those cards. I feel like I feel like there's a really good chance they got Quagmire in their hand and they're going to try to combo that next turn. I feel like that's that's really the only way I can make sense out of that play right there. Yeah, me too. What else could they have picked up? Well, not much that's amazing for them. Getting chilly. That's the only good pickup card. It's yeah, well, they don't have to card. event it, though. They could just play it for three ops. I mean, it's not like... Also, also having getting chilly in Peru would be really nice, too. Yeah, so I like uh, China card, Chile, Peru here, or maybe even China card, North Korea, but the, it, they could realign North Korea. I don't know, man. You don't want to save China until the end? No, because uh, I want to leave our last two cards as as not Brezhnev. Well, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess we have to play Brezhnev at the end, don't we? I forgot about that. Yeah, you know you're, what? You're, you're right. We gotta play Bresh. We gotta play Brezhnev at the end. Can you put that Brezhnev on the right? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta play that at the end. Yeah, it would be really nice to have Chile in Peru. We can use Muslim now in China card in the next action round. There's not really a huge rush. You know what? What's weird, Kevin? We could China card coup North Korea. <laughs> coup? No. We're salted also. Don't forget about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, it's only worth four hops. Never seen a team let their clock get this low. Also, yeah, they're having real clock problems here. Whoa, they're, yeah, Kevin, their hand just sucks. Um, so I definitely want Vietnam for the brush protection. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what else, Jordan? Indonesia's kind of good. I mean, we're doing fine on country count in Asia. There's no issues there. Well, we haven't seen decal yet, and I don't want him to beat us there. Or wait a minute, what what is the country count in Asia? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to two. So. Oh yeah, it's not even close. It's, even if they take Indonesia, it's not even close. Okay, you're right. We don't need Indonesia then. 
Because um, Camp David Accords is actually a domination flip if we take Jordan to our domination. So that's pretty good, in my opinion. And then I, maybe Haiti or Colombia. Guatemala. Are all options. I don't like Colombia. Okay. I like Haiti. Domination. Okay. So now I think we want a UN away Muslim, maybe. Maybe, I oh mean, three Peru looks ugly. I like I that. I like that. I mean, you don't think that, like, uh, maybe, like, three Iraq or something is better just to keep pressure on the Middle East? I like the I like the way you put it down there, just like that. Mm, you know, I like... So, let's just put this down again. To be honest, Kevin, I like this a lot more because this keeps the pressure on them in the Middle East. Nah, that just sets us up for a big Muslim revolution when it comes around again. I mean, we have so many countries, though, and Middle East is about to score, and we're at 16. I think this is a lot better. Like, I think this is a lot better. And we're playing China card next, too, and they're showing us a weak hand. Like, I think we got to fight for 20 here, and this is, to me, this is fighting for 20. Maybe, um, maybe Saudi is better, though. I like I like this a lot, Kevin. I really do. I guess. Hmm. Then if they don't do anything, we can coup them within like I don't know somewhere like Egypt maybe just something or just keep jamming them. Just anything to keep the Middle East leveled. Seems like it's just too easy for them to just put a three up in Saudi Arabia and then. They're, they're, they're indicating they might not have a 3-op, though. They've got Purge and three other cards. Those three other cards might suck. He just played Puppets. I mean, Puppets is... Mm. Like, I feel like this gets us something. Like, at the very least, we force Ops out of their hand. Like, we're doing something with this play, you know? Yeah, but we're, we're losing four to their three, though. I... Uh, yeah, go ahead and lock it in. We might force Purge out of their hand, too. With, can you, can uh, you click on the five real quick? Okay, I got them all. It's not like... Hmm. I mean... I guess let's just see what they do here, I suppose. And this looks like everything they've played to me indicates a weak hand. Yeah, I mean, it's it's possible they don't have a three op here besides the Red Scare Purge, which they don't want to play because they want to hold it for their combo. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. See, we force Purge out of their hand. Huh. Interesting. Huh. Um. I like jamming them again, to be honest with you, a China card into maybe Egypt. Um. Uh, Egypt feels weird. I think if if we jam again, it has to be Iraq this time. Because they have to coup down for mill ops also, so. Yeah, okay, okay, go ahead and lock it in. This is such a weird... I feel like this makes sense, though.
they, we got purge out of their hand now what are they gonna play, play like that was like they would they really wanted to hold purge it felt like after i i mean at this point there's a lot higher chance that they don't have a three up in their hand because if they did they would have played that instead of purge on the last AR. So I I think there's a pretty good chance that um, they're not gonna not going to be able to take that country back, Iraq. Camp David's out there too, which is a big problem for them. Alliance for Progress. Um, oh, that's yeah, Alliance. You can't get out. out. And defectors is one point if they get stuck with that in their hand. Also, Brush War and Arms Race are potential point cards. Uh, how I learned to stop worrying in Summit. Oh yeah, see they, they, they ran out of stuff. Oh. You wanna hmm two Brazil maybe? I kinda wanna take Brazil now. Yeah. We can take Brazil. Yeah, let's take Brazil and Libya and just call it a day on this turn. Yeah. Their last two cards suck also. I think it's Sadat Camp David is what it smells like. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> yeah, speaking yeah, Kevin, of, this is GG. Can speaking we just headline the, the alliance and win? Let me hold, let's hold on a second and see if there's any way out of this. Um let me let me see if there's any way they can stop us here. Uh the cards that are left in the deck, Lone Gunman, Decal, Liberation Theology, Cultural Revolution, OPEC. How many points is OPEC here? Two. Uh, alliance beats OPEC. Comes first. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. It has so, to be a four up. Yeah, the, the only four up left is NATO. Okay, or, or wait a minute, wait a minute. So oh shoot, oh I'm sorry, Kevin. No, it's okay, it's okay. I, I'm pretty sure this is good. I just wanted to double check it first, but I'm pretty sure it's good. I don't, I don't think there's any way, any any card that they can headline here to. to... I feel like the only card is we will bury you, or nuclear test ban. Uh, we will oh, bury you is in the discard, right? Yeah. Those nuclear test ban. Um, I don't, or I guess if they headline lone gunman, they would might be able to break one of these countries. Actually, that, that alliance could... happens. It's a three op card alliance. Happens oh yeah, them. yeah. I always forget about that. Yeah, that's true. Alliance goes first. Yeah, so I guess that's it. They don't. They don't have anything here that can stop this. Then the only four op left is NATO. Well, a good game, man. Uh, <laughs> no need to trash talk. <laughs> just, just tell him. Just tell him we got we got alliance for progress. Or I mean, if if you want to like speed up the process, just tell him. Or it's too late. They, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, we did forget to overprotect Italy. I guess it, I guess the way it kind of worked it. out, it was kind of better to not overprotect Italy in the end anyway. Good game. I don't know about that Middle East jamming place. Still, that was, that was kind of weird. I don't know. I guess I don't hate it though. I mean, I guess it did kind of like force them into a tough spot. It's an interesting idea, I guess. And if we had ended up taking Saudi Arabia, then we'd had a pretty awesome realign on Iraq at plus one. Yeah. Oh man, that's an interesting point, Kevin. Yeah, I didn't even think about I didn't even think about that. The real line potential in the Middle East. And Saudi Arabia could potentially get surrounded also. That high DEFCON. Realigning a a three stability country at plus one is a lot more efficient than realigning a plus a two stability country at plus one. Um like assuming there's no overprotection. If any of the viewers were curious as to why I like the plus one realign in uh, Iraq, 
so much more than the plus one realign in the two stability country because yeah. it's more efficient that way ah yeah yeah i like that because you have a bigger chance of completely wiping them out and also it, it's not just because of the immediate um like like say say if you're doing multiple realign rolls i mean even if you're just doing one realign roll it's more efficient like say if they have three more ops in the country than you do compared to if they have two more ops in the country than you do it's real it's more efficient on the first roll but when you get into multiple rolls and it's really more efficient because you got the potential to have like more than a plus one after the first roll and you could end up realigning it at like plus two or plus three, depending on how the early rolls go. And with this two, two stability country, that doesn't happen as often. Yeah. yeah I was I was now. I wasn't like explaining that to you. I was just explaining that to the viewers. I know that you already understand <laughs> it. I was I was just doing that for the audience, um, in case anybody. Sometimes I feel like I don't explain shit enough for the audience, and they're like. They're like, we don't like this stream because we don't know what, what you're thinking about or whatever. Because I don't have enough time to talk. Well, you've been uh, giving a little bit more commentary lately. Yeah, and my time, I've been behind on time the entire time. Uh, <laughs> so I got, I'm going to have to stop because it, it takes too much time. I, I almost ran out on the clock on a 90-minute game the other day. Oh, jeez. Well, anyway, were not finishing in time. I'll tell you that they were they were not finishing in time. Yeah, they're gonna have to like do some some serious reorganization to be able to to make it to the end on this game. But and it, it's it, if I think I kind of feel like I take even more time when I'm worried about have to worry about losing on the VP track also because you have to think about all these other things that your opponent can do to VP track out and try to avoid that stuff also. It takes even more yeah. time than normal, so yeah, it, it's gonna be really hard for them to finish on time in this game if it goes to final scoring. But yeah, we hit a lot of rolls, you know. Um, but yeah, we made that we made a mistake on that Junta play, but that's all right. We can't do everything perfect all the time. But yeah, in hindsight, it would have been better to put that in a in not in Chile. Yeah, you know, actually, really what situation. would have been weird maybe like what if we put it in Uruguay like. Does that make any sense? No. Well, it only... No, because then they just easily counter coup it, I think. Uh, I don't know. It's too complicated to think about. That was a hell of a puzzle, though. It's probably not best for us to go Uruguay, actually, on second. Though. Probably one of those two stability battlegrounds in there. For, for USSR, 100% you go Uruguay, though. 100%. <laughs> oh, yeah. The way they did that was really uh, very clever. You know, even as as USSR, if you just get a naked junta into an empty South America, you always go Uruguay, and then you go Brazil and Argentina. That and then, that Uruguay play with the Cambridge Five didn't even occur to me at all until you mentioned it. No, as yeah. soon as you mentioned that, I was like, oh shit, I don't even think about that. Yeah, but that was that was very clever play. They figured it out. But yeah, pretty much everything else went our way in this game. See, having those the D stall and the D call at the beginning was huge because they had zero access. Yeah, they and they should have had even less access than they did because of the yeah. the Cambridge Five. They got because um, we messed up the Cambridge Five, but yeah, yeah there's so many whatever. parts of that game where they had nowhere to put their ops that to me seemed good. Like they did the play in Europe that to me seemed like a total waste of ops. It got them nothing, but they had no nothing else to do practically. I can't. I can't really remember that. Uh, do you know how the playoffs works on this U.S. Cup? Do you have to finish in first in the division, or how does it work? So there's five in our division. I think that at least the top two make it. Um, so the only so so DC is 100% finishing in the top two. Um, we have to win every game from here on out to beat them. Um, so. And, and if we also get three wins, we tie them. And But they have the tiebreaker over us because they beat us. So we have to get at least three wins and uh, beat whoever else gets three wins, which is probably California. So the us versus California game is going to be huge. All right, cool. Yeah, I can... Um, I guess I'll go ahead and turn off the stream here. Yeah, I got to run because I haven't gotten...